Here we talked last week when I was talking to you. You've been through it now. Was it what you expected? Was it better? Was it worse? Was it awkward? Was it fun? How was it going against your former team? Uh, I say it was absolutely better than what I thought it was. I was so worried about it being awkward, of course, but then I just understood that game time came, they were the enemy. So it's pretty easy to put down all that four years of relationship I had to go play a ball game. So I felt pretty static the whole time being able to actually get after it. Did you, I mean, we're talking about whether you were going to talk to them before the game. Did you do any conversing before the game, or was it they're, they're not with us anymore? There's definitely a handshake or two <clears throat> walking in between the tunnel, but no real conversations were had. It was all business. Lorenzo? Craig, uh, when you look at the defensive performance, was this hands down the best defense that you've seen, uh, the best performance you've seen out of this defense all season long? Uh, I wouldn't say best. Um, I would say Auburn is probably our best. Um, when it just came to like the energy of the defense, mm -hmm. and us just uh, dominating the whole game. But this is definitely up there. Um, I'm proud of our defense. You know, we we played to the whistle every snap. Uh, you know, made them count threes. That's that's really the mentality when it comes to defense. You don't want them to get a touchdown. You want to make them count threes. So uh, I'm proud of our guys today. So I'm just happy that. Go next to Ben from Rivals. Uh, Craig, just kind of talk about what you guys did about the fence. Did you contain Ayim Benor as well as you guys did? Held him to 50 yards. Just what was the key to containing him as well as you guys did tonight? Yeah. Um, Honestly, it, it wasn't too much. Uh, you know, we knew his skill set. Uh, we had a you know a good game plan going into the game. Uh, on how we're going to stop him? How we're going to stop the quarterback? Uh, and honestly, we wanted them to, to throw shots down the field because we felt like uh, you know defensively our defensive backs could you know handle those guys uh, and play tight coverage. So uh, that was pretty much it. Just playing tight coverage, and then when it's time to just get vision on the quarterback, just you know transition when the ball is thrown and just come up and make our tackles. Goes Jeff next. Barry, when uh, Jane was here, he said that he got a little extra juice because you had told the team or some of the guys that Stafford looks down on calories. Can you talk about that conversation? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. So at Stafford, all the four years, we've had a couple big games. I know we have Cal, but we always play Notre Dame. So there's always something we're looking forward to at the very end. So I know they're going to play Notre Dame the last game. So it's always like, there's Cal, and there's Notre Dame. So for I know here at Cal, it's like, we have Stanford, and that's the one and only. And at Stanford, like, oh, we have so many. It's hard to really say who's our rival at that point. But here it's definition, like, it is Stanford no matter what. So that type of juice is what I gave to the team, knowing that Stanford looks above us as some of the education aspect. But definitely that rival, too, is that they have a couple, but here it's just one. Steve, if I kind of follow up on that, I, if I remember saying you're not from California, correct? No, I'm from Texas. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, what do you know now, five or six years through the big game, about this rivalry, about the intensity of it, that maybe a kid growing up in Texas would have no idea? Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah, before I came up to Cal, like I, I knew nothing about you know Cal versus Stanford. Uh, but you know, being up here now for five years and uh, just seeing like how impactful it is for just not only the team, but I think the community as well. Uh, you know, it's bigger than the team. Like, every time we play these guys, I mean, the people that came before us that set the way, like, we want to play for those guys as well. Not just, you know, trying to get a win, but we want to play for the people that, you know, set the tone before we came in. So, um, you know, it's a big rivalry, but uh, I'm just happy that we was able to get the win today. And um, it's the Cal X, not the Stanford X. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Uh, Craig Ewak with the, the seniors last weekend. Um, are you uh, pretty set on testing the waters of the NFL, or is returning for an extra year of eligibility on the table for you? Yeah, um, I'm not really sure um, at this moment, but I'm just going to let God guide me and just keep praying about it, keep talking to my, my family about it, and just see what the best option is for me. Time for a couple more. Go to Mia next. Um, the stands were easily filled with more Cal fans than Stanford fans. Can you talk a little bit about what that meant to you guys? Yeah, so <clears throat> it's notorious that every four years that this Stanford game kind of is a Cal home game. It's always been like that. And I, I hate to admit it, that the only time we really won was when there was no fans at all at COVID year. So, uh, I remember rushing the field at Cal Memorial Stadium just no one was there. So I think we played best with no audience at all because <clears throat> it's always been a home game no matter where it was. And so it's just phenomenal that it still is a home game for Cal. I mean, it's just how important the game is. I think that... You know, the Cal fans and the community really showed up today. And 
I mean, we needed their energy. We needed their atmosphere the whole game. So uh, I appreciate them. Okay, so Craig, like you've actually had a, a different TV coach since you've been here. I mean, I remember Gerald Alexander brought you in, and then uh, briefly uh, Coach Yates, and now uh, Trey. But how glad are you that you stayed at Cal the whole time, even when they were going through those cycle of changes? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely tough just having different coaches, but um, you know, Will Cox really brought in the people that was you know going to put us in the best position to, to succeed. So um, I'm happy that you know, Coach Trey and Coach Brown is here. Um, they give a really good insight give them really good tools and knowledge about the game of football and just outside of football as well. Um, and you know, I think they really helped me develop uh, in my time here. So I appreciate those guys. We've got one more from the room, the manual, then I'll have one on too. Yeah, Craig, I just want to ask you about your kind of your emotions about winning the Axe three years in a row. Yeah. Man, at this point, I expect to win the Axe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, you know, it's, it's emotional in the sense of just, you know, I'm happy that, you know, we can get the win for the team and for the fans the community. But every time we play Stanford, I expect to win the Axe. Like I said, it's the Alex. Thank you. Okay, we'll wrap it up with one final question from Maria on Zoom. Go ahead, Maria. There, on Wednesday when we talked, you said you're going to admit what you're going to miss the most is the season of winning. How do you feel right now? Uh, I can't even describe it right now. I think storming the field, having those fans, I think I took maybe – 40 to 50 selfies with people I have no idea. And somehow they're like my first name basis and not my last name too, and like who I am, where I came from. It's it's just different here. Um, <clears throat> just like the difference between winning the Axe at a place across the bay and here is just a world's difference. Um, this team really came together. I think the energy is there. The fans are there. Everything's just there compared to what it was in the last uh, two years for me. So I just, I can't describe it. I think it's going to wear on me. After my adrenaline sets off, I think I'm still a little juiced after the game.